What's up guys, my name is Neon and welcome to the 2020 Battlefield 5 video settings. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through the settings and show you my settings and hopefully some of these settings will help you maybe play a little bit more better or maybe be a little bit more precise. So we're going to start on the first one first and I'm going to be talking about each one and see if these can help you. Some of these settings are still default but I have tweaked with a fair bit of this stuff. Okay, so the main one what a lot of people are very interested in is soldier aim sensitivity the sensitivity for me is 45 and soldier zoom aim sensitivity is 91. i recently just bumped this up and i feel like i'm a lot more better but when it comes to sensitivity if you do want to be a bit more quicker then just you bump up just a little tad each time like by every couple of days you bump up a little bit more so you just have that learning method the reason why my sensitivity is a lot more lower because i like the precise of my accuracy compared to having a higher sensitivity but there's nothing wrong with having a higher sensitivity or a lower sensitivity it's all by your play style but for mine it's more of in the middle so i'll just sprint that's just default these are all default this one here i've been mixing between the two there's actually a, a configuration for this one where when you change it in the configuration is when you aim down sight you actually have it on your aim button so then when you're aiming you don't need to hold down your thumbstick to hold your breath but yeah it's a very useful thing so all these are default i'm going to move on to these ones so these are my custom button layouts these ones are going to be a lot more different compared to anyone else's okay because i'm using the scuff vantage so my button layouts is going to be a lot more different because i have paddles on the back so i'm just going to go through them and just show you the button layouts what i have If there's anything interested you see, make sure to pause the video so you can copy these out. Okay, now I'll show you that, we're going to move on to the next one. This one here, I really haven't changed that much with it. Just uniform soldier aiming, that's always on. And basically everything else is pretty much default when it comes to all this. I don't mess about with any of these. A lot of people definitely go into more depth with them, but I just feel like that's just not me. So this stuff is very useful. So I have this one of the max input threshold. This is where you move your thumbstick just a little tad and it detects it instant but it makes you move straight away so with a thumbstick when you move it just a little bit you move a lot more slower but if you put it down you move so much quicker so it means you've got a lot more quicker reaction time when it comes to movement but i don't mess about with the right side i just keep it on the left thumbstick these ones are very useful this is the stuff where you only need to push down your trigger just a little bit and it straight away aims or shoots just that couple of little milliseconds is so useful from an fps game okay so one gameplay so obviously i've hud on i take off the hud motion stuff because like when you're running it will start shaking it's just the hud's already too cluttered as it is for me personally so having all that like wiggling about it's just it's too off putting so i have that off chat lock stuff that's whatever you want to have with that same as the kill log for me, I just have all and I just have name. And then the rest of this is just all default. I would say you can mess about your colors of the sites. It's whatever you think you can see a lot more better in the game. But you know me, I have to have a lot of pink. Minimap size is 111. And everything else is just default. Camera shake. Camera shake is definitely one of the things I was just saying about the HUD. Where everything shakes a lot more. Camera shake. You really want that off. If you really want to get a realistic feel. Go for it. Put it up to the max. Having it on 50 is the best. All these are default. I have soldier aim assist on 50. 
just a small little bit of aim assist but not too much so you don't when you see multiple enemies you don't get that sticky situation so you can take out multiple enemies so much more quicker and if you watch some of my videos you can see how many times i get like the triple kills and multi kills and that's because like i'm not getting stuck on so many different enemies so it's a lot more easy to snap on people's heads without getting that weird aim assist lock because with aim assist it locks onto people's chest not a head or nothing like that that's all by your control of the thumbstick but having on 50 is a lot more easy to control soldier aim assist zoom snap this is the stuff where it definitely like snaps on other people it's the same thing i was just talking about the aim assist one but this one makes it super super strong and that's what i'm saying if you see multiple enemies especially if you have a sniper good luck trying to hit someone because it's going to be all over the place so i would advise to just turn it off completely i have it on zero Everything else is default. Audio is literally the same as well. I just have surround and headphones. Video, this is an interesting one. So my brightness, I leave on 50. My field of view is 75. Vehicle is 81. ADS field of view, I have it on. But that's only when I don't use a sniper. When I use a sniper, I turn it off. The reason why I turn it off is because when you're aiming down sight, you can actually see way more further off. It gives you that extra zoom with the sniper scope. Motion blur, you should definitely turn that off because if you play the game so long consistently, it definitely make you feel a lot more sick. And it's the same as the ADS duff effect. When you aim down sight, it gives it more of the blur scope and you do not want that, especially on the iron sights. I custom some of my colors as well because I am colorblind. So I messed about with certain colors what I can actually see. So when I play the game, helps me see a lot more clear this stuff here you want it all off this is what makes the game a lot more movie like and it makes it look so much more realistic but you don't want all that because it's just there's too much cluttered onto the screen it doesn't make it feel so much it's this is more like movie stuff if you play like an hour a day it won't be that bad same as motion blur but if you play a lot and you cry in the game a lot for a good couple of hours you want this off because if you don't you're going to get a lot more headaches and there we have it this is my 2020 back for five setting video I hope everyone enjoyed it make sure to leave a like comment subscribe to be a part of the pink big army and i'll see you in the next video peace